Okay, everybody, welcome back to End Zone, and it's uh, it's Greenhouse Expedition Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got ev Expedition traveling, and uh, it says they're it says they're traveling. I want to go and select the group leader, and you can see that they're kind of standing out here, outside the uh, outside the zone here. And now the rest of them are coming up behind them, right? So the leader kind of is, is here first, and then everyone else is going to get there. And then when everybody's get when everybody gets there, they'll set up the expedition. We'll hear we'll hear the little pip here, and then we'll start it. So Miriam is here, is our little expedition leader. She says, "Okay, we're here." The scout didn't tell us a thing. There's a sweet smell lingering in the air here. It it, it gets even stronger the closer you get to the greenhouse. Okay, well. We can say loot what you know in return, or we can say where does it come from? Uh, so demolished greenhouse is what we've uh, what it's called. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and just hit this. So it says the sweet smell comes from a bunch of plants growing in the middle of the ruin. They have long, thin leaves, spiked, almost jagged looking. Uh, you have marijuana plants in here. Uh, I'd say that they were once cultivated here and somehow managed to survive the fallout. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we have greenhouse frame, and then we have the plants. So it says, we could leave the plants where they are for now and try to salvage part of the metal greenhouse, but the part of the metal that the greenhouse is made out of, it's a good thing that we brought along our tools. That's right, so we have the plants and we have the greenhouse frame. It says, wait a second. This must be marijuana! Oh my god, it is! <laughs> the sweet smell, the leaves, oh, it all fits. We can harvest these babies. <laughs> Lucky for us, we have a farmer on the team. Let's continue. So we got 20 joints, 20 hemp, and hemp seed. So we can make our own now. <laughs> if we're careful, we can take the blossoming little plants with us and try to cultivate them back at the camp. Indeed. Oh, this is already a good thing here, isn't it? And then the greenhouse frame, which was apparently part of some pre-war grow up. We're going to try to harvest the, uh, salvage the part of the metal that the greenhouse is made out of. Good thing we brought all our tools. Hit continue. And it says, all right, he looks good. This is almost more usable scrap and metal than we can carry. All right, so that is it. Options already been completed. That is all we have here. So now that we have progressed 100% of this greenhouse, we can say loot and return. When we loot and return, we have to choose the loot at a location and get it into our inventories. And if we want to go, we could say, hey, take everything with you. And as long as we have enough people to do that, we can bring all of it. In this case, we brought three people, which just so happens to fill 85% of our capacity to carry. So we can take everything in one turn. If I had chosen to bring two people, then I most likely would have filled this up and not been able to bring everything. I would have had to have sent people back to the location again to loot the rest of it. I can still get it. I just have to do another trip there. So let's hit loot and return. They're gonna say the bags are packed and ready. We'll see each other at the settlement safe trip home so they're gonna go ahead and bring all that stuff back and now after they loot that place this place becomes something that's just worth salvage so it'll have 150 scrap of salvage now all this scrap could be done now um, same thing is with pretty much anything you know a lot of these sites are worth like you know 300 here this crane is worth 200 scrap right we have a heavy duty truck here which looks pretty badass although it looks a little destroyed but looks pretty badass Anyway, so that's our first expedition, and we have now have the ability to grow marijuana. Our locally grown joints is what we're going to have. We're going to roll them ourselves right in the weather station. Nobody will know. Shh. In any case, I was kind of hoping for more food. Uh, the joints are nice, but it doesn't help us with food at all. I was kind of hoping for that. Let's bring uh, reduce the number of water carriers temporarily. It's up the builders just for a little bit. And um, I figured out the scrap collector thing. The reason why we didn't have enough scrap collectors, it was because I had limited I had limited the, the workforce on one of the buildings to three. 
So this is the total number of people that can be assigned to the job. And this is the total of people that are um, assigned to this building with this number being the total capacity possible. So basically I'm only allowed to staff the number of people uh, possible in all structures in this tab and I just couldn't. So if, if you run into that same problem for some reason, um, it's just because you have done that. So probably just have done that just like me. All right, so our farms are covered. It's a contaminated rain, but our water is not. And this is contaminated water. But we should be filtering it. And we should be doing really well on coal. I've upped our production limit to 200 on coal. Just so we can have more of it. And, uh, you know, hunters are doing a good job. They're bringing home the bacon. Uh, kind of literally. There are, uh, there are boars out there. Um... I'm thinking of dropping more farms. I've also, I'm also gonna put down, you can see here, there's another gatherer's cabin. So we're gonna do some more gathering in this area too. Forester's keeping this place looking really nice. It's definitely being maintained really well. And uh, now we're out of tools again. I am having the most difficult time keeping up on metal. And it's probably just because of the number of people I have working here. So I'm going to bump it up to a maximum 18. I want I want 18 people working this job. And I want to see metal and plastic. And you know what? Let's turn the cloth back on too because we're out of it. And I want to see those three resources just go into the freaking roof, man. So get all the scrap you can and get going. You got to have the stuff. We don't have... It's because we're making so many radiation suits. I think I want to take you guys down to Carbon Masks again. And um, you'll use half the resources. You'll keep people mostly protected with those. We, did, we do have a lot of radiation suits walking around already. And then I think you're on cloth. Yeah, you're on cloth. And I actually got rid of this one because it was kind of weird looking. I also got rid of this temporary storehouse here. And so it's just this warehouse now. And like everything that was in this is... I don't, I don't know what happens. When you remove, or when you delete a warehouse, do you just delete everything inside it too? Because I feel like that's what happened. See, these ones here, they're no longer super full because they we were able to offload things into this warehouse now. And there's 600 decontamination units in there now. That's awesome. The market's got a bunch now. Very cool. Resources in this inventory can be freed from decontamination. 578 resources can be purified. Gotcha. So they're not 578 kits. It's just 578 can be purified. Cool. Let's check out this. And I want to see research uh, field testing. Special reward. What is this? Our researchers have come up with a new idea. They're not quite sure yet whether their plan could work. If you could provide them with a few materials, they begin with the test right away. It's very vague. It's like, let's put this test, let's put this text in here and, uh, you know, it'll work for anything <laughs> kind of thing. All right, so I gave them, uh, apparently I have everything I need for this and I just get granted a free knowledge. So that's great. I'm glad I clicked that. What else can we do? Research in area of resources, the land of milk and honey. We're doing damn well, Chief. Despite all the stones that life has laid along the face of our path, we're looking very confidently towards the future. We think that the time has come to create our own land of milk and honey. Would a sumptuous meal be too much to ask? Maybe. Uh, depends on how much food you want to use, because we're not great on food, but okay. Gather food from different sources. Nine out of ten. Shoot. All right. All right. You know what? Pause. Pause. You want 9 out of 10? You want 9 out of 10? I'll give you 9 out of 10. Kitchen. Go. Should have done this a long time ago, man. Food problems? Get the kitchen. Should have done this a long time ago. Uh, let's bop the maximum for, for research. And then now we are getting... Oh, man. Look at the population. Oh, no. Oh, I hate, I hate that birth control decree, but sometimes I feel like it's really necessary. We have a lot of wood. 
Are we able to make a lot of these sturdy houses? Two plastic, 10 cloth. I mean, it sounds weird, but we're actually, it's actually much easier for us to make a bunch of sturdy houses than it is to make the shelter because of the cloth. We have lots of plastic available. So I'm gonna put some more sturdy shelters in place, yeah. Um, can I can I make this here? I feel like I've asked that before and it just was never possible. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go house here. We're gonna get a house. Um, let's get a house here and here and we'll leave a little space, put a house. Mm, I don't wanna put it too close to the other buildings though. We'll do that for now. Those houses will uh, will help 40 people. Should hold us for a while. And then I can get the shelter put in too. I can get the shelter put in like right by these houses. So just kind of do something like this. And then I think I need another advanced school. Because we have 43 kids and I can only teach 30 of them. Uh, which means we're going to need more teachers and all sorts of stuff. But I think there's a good... The good thing about this, though, is... Well, actually, hang on. Uh, we want the scrap totem. <laughs> Gotta make the place attractive. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think... I want the rainwater collector built here, too. Right there. There we go. And then we can put the, the road straight through here. That's good. Got people repairing things. Builders are responsible for that. We got five out of eight. Let's go six. Let's go seven builders. Let's go like 18 farmers. We'll do like a bunch of gatherers too. So we need to really ramp up on food now. We've got the new gatherers hopefully put in. Indeed we do. Let's make sure their field of work is a bit more. Actually, I kind of like where your field of work is. Never mind. How about the other one? We should have another one over here, right there. Let's make sure yours is this whole area here, too. So we should be gathering tons of food. But the research on the kitchen, it must continue. 36 cloth. Oh, my gosh. I'm having the hardest time keeping up on that. We are using it so fast. And people just keep taking the radiation suits and stuff, man. Oh my gosh, population is getting out of control. We may need to actually do that decree. I think that decree is probably going to be necessary. Unless I can get people in on... On jobs that generate more food. Um, you can always put a hunter's hut in. Does this have a negative attractive? No, it doesn't. We can put the hunter's hut over here then. Um, I think right next to this. I can put it right here, too. Yeah. Um, is that going to interfere with that pole? It doesn't look like it. I don't really need it powered. But eventually, all of this stuff gets hooked to the grid. I'm going to drop it down there. And I'm going to tell them to build it next. Because I need food. Bad. And I think it's probably time to open up that other fishing hut. Although, we have really good efficiency over here. Oh, it's like so close. Oh, 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 darn. You know, having three at 80% efficiency is probably still better than having two at 100. But I could open this up. We're getting close enough to where we can almost have that work. I think we need, just need more orchards. I'm gonna get some more orchards put in. And to do that effectively, I think I'm gonna want... Eh. The thing is, I really can't work with this. Let's turn the irrigation plants off. We're using a lot of water too. We're losing, we're using a lot of water too. All right, what kind of expeditions do we have available? Cake shop, gas station ruin. There might be some stuff in there. Cake shop, another gas station ruin. Let's go after, uh, let's go after this one. Gas station ruin, we're gonna send a scout out this way. 
just to see what that's all about. And then, um, looks like we have three scouts. So we can actually send one to here, too. See what's up with the scout. Um, it says, uh, well, it doesn't matter what it says. It says the same thing for every single site. Um, let's go back to the expedition building. You know, you know what? We'll just scout these two locations first. And then we might be able to salvage them after that. Scrapyard. Scrapyard, tell me, tell me you have things. Mm, okay, that is something. How about you? Scrap's getting farther and farther away, man. There's a lot of scrap over this way, though. Maybe try to get that. You know, I think I'm going to let the rain in. Am I letting in the rain right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Okay. We're down in tools big time. This is not good. How about our kitchens? I think... My gosh. All right, I think scrap tools. Screw it. I can't keep up the metal supply. We're going scrap tools. We just need them. We just need tools in general. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Just give me tools. So scrap tools will pull the supply directly from our scrap section. And hopefully that'll help us get the metal supply back up. It's raining. We can finally gather some more water. This number should go really fast during rain because we have a lot of rainwater collectors. Still haven't built these roads yet either. We have built a few of the houses. Hmm. Oh, wait, I'm going to let this play on for a little bit. Or not. Oh, target reached. Right. Okay. Uh, this must be an old gas station. If we hadn't settled already, this might have brought our bus some more miles. I can't imagine there's still much left to find here, but it might be worth sending an expedition to take a closer look. At least there ought to be some salvageable stuff in it. So we need metal tools, and we also want somebody that has the scrap collector um, uh, trait to them. So here's all of our known scrap collectors, and a lot of them are still working that job. We'll put Lisa, Louise, and let's bring Amber. We'll go three. I think we'll go three expeditions, or three of these each. We'll bring metal tools, although we have to make them. And we won't have a whole lot of carrying capacity for this place. It's possible this place is doing pretty well on supplies. I think we'll go ahead and send four people on this one. Let's do four action points. 16 uh, rations are what we need. Start that expedition. So, of course, they're going to have to make that supply, but yeah. All right, we're way up on water again. Let's, uh, let's keep these crops irrigated. We'll let the other ones go. Eh, I don't want to lose the food. We're not going to let the other ones go. Use the water. Go high. Use the water. And uh, I need more water carriers here. Let's bump up the workforce on water carriers temporarily. And then let's put 20 on. Let's put two more people on farming. Um, actually, we'll put pull people back. I need some settlers. Anybody gathering? We're maxed out on gatherers. We have a couple more hunting. A little more hunting we can do. One of these hunter's huts has a limited workforce. Which one is it? Actually, we should hunt this way too. We should go with uh, hunting lodge out this way too. Hmm. You know, there's no animals here. Well, okay, there's some over here. We could, uh, it's a really long walk for you, but I'm going to put you here. Did that just move it? It did. Moved it back one as soon as I clicked. Okay, put you here, and we're going to have another hunter going and doing this too. All right, we have, uh, what? How many knowledge? 
Come on, guys. Get that kitchen done. You can do it. I believe in you. I need to start. If I cook, that helps my food a lot if I can cook. I just need to see the stock numbers going up. And during a drought, I don't expect the stock numbers to go up. But we are going to protect our farms at least. And hunting can still happen during a drought. Uh, but the fishing will stop. That's the big thing. So we're going to pull all eight people off of fishing right now. And we're sticking on technicians to help us with our tools. And we are going to... I don't need any charcoal burners. Let's get off that. And then also, I think we can probably do away with this many miners. Let's go three mining. One more logistics person. And let's do one more teaching. We could do one more water carrier to help pull things off of the, the rainwater collectors. And then I think everything else is hunting. Everything else is hunting. I need lots and lots of food. So this is the new hunting place. And the field of work for you. Probably should have checked to see if there was any viable game in this area. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, there's not a whole lot of game. Well, there's a whole bunch over here, but that's really far away. They do migrate a little bit. You'll, you'll see them move around a little bit too. And if I plant trees here, like we take this, um, we change your field of work to here and get you planting trees out this way. That'll help, probably help some animals come in too. But for now, since you're, since the animals are really far away, we're gonna have to have you hunt over here. Unfortunate, but that's the way it is. I need more people working in the medical facility sure we keep up on our meds we're really really low there's not enough meds we need more people on herbs as well and actually i think we need to get another herbalist kitchen's done so let's talk about where we want to put the kitchen and we'll do that while we have a giant storm it's good right here i want the kitchen right here that's the best that's the most important building of all the buildings you can build that's the most important kitchen i'm gonna put another one on this side too as soon as I can, you know, see what the heck I'm dealing with. I think it's going to be right here. Yep. We'll build this one next after this one. We'll have a kitchen on both sides. And then we'll probably have another kitchen over in here. But these kitchens... I mean, they're just like any other survival game. They're going to take all the raw resources and be more productive with it. Okay, cake shop. Hey, chief. It's your scout. Sorry that I have to... Oh, sorry. It's my it's your scout. It's your scout. Uh, sorry, I have to whisper. I've arrived at the ruin, but I don't dare get any closer. I spotted a woman with a rifle up on the roof who's watching the surrounding area through binoculars. Uh, in addition, uh, warnings have been posted everywhere on the building that sh she'll shoot as soon as she sees strangers. I, I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Um, maybe you could... Send a few settlers to come by who should approach cautiously and uh, maybe start up a conversation or two. Okay, so it looks to me like I need somebody, a uh, resource that could help in the expedition. Advantage due to resources. So like medicine? Is that what this is? Drugs of some kind. If I have drugs, it'll help her. But that's good. So we have a survivor who is... Uh, Shooting anybody who comes near her on sight. Yet somehow we were able to walk to this. So that's... We're able to go to this. Uh, I guess, yeah, obviously these are two closed events, but I just think it's funny. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, we're not going after your stuff. We're just tagging along. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> All right, Hunter's Lodge. Here we go. Oh, there's... Animals right next to us. Oh, in town as well. You are our resident in town hunter. <laughs> All these animals that are just hanging out in our farms, get rid of them. Make it so. Come on, guys. Build the kitchen. Oh, I need so many people to work this kitchen. Uh, are they called cooks? Yeah, they're called cooks. I would really like to get this building done. The area is now clear of radiation. 
It is time to bring things to this building. Bring wood, bring scrap, bring cloth, metal, plastic, all of it. Let's go. We're finally doing better on metal. All right, we're starting to catch up because our tools aren't, you know, we're not using it all for tools. So I would hope we at least find a way to make some, uh, some tools as well. In fact, I think we need metal tools for the expedition. Yeah, we don't have any metal tools. So we will need to make some metal tools. Let's uh, switch this one to metal. And maybe they'll make enough to where we can have them brought to the expedition center. Here we go. Come on, guys. Just a little bit more cloth. You can do it. The future of your food supply depends on it. Let's make sure they don't build that yet. All right. Good. Processed food. All right. So check this out. Processed food can be produced from conventional food in a kitchen. Settlers require a few different sources of nourishment for a healthy diet when they additionally consume processed food. Okay? So we get 10, like, meats and stuff and 10 water, and all of a sudden we get 10, like, we get 100 output. Is that what I'm reading? That seems to be what I'm reading. Let's get them in there and see if that's how that works. Uh, failed mission task. I mean, look. Look, I tried to build you a kitchen. I don't know why you're disappointed in me. It didn't occur to us that we'd be disappointed with regard to this humble request. We merely wanted to treat ourselves to something, but apparently that was asking too much. What a dick! You didn't have to word it this way. You didn't have to word it like a, like a tool. I, obviously, it was just too much. We don't have enough housing. That is true. We really don't. So we need to do that. And we're going to get a lot of scrap and a lot of wood for that. So we need to provide settlers with a home. Just says a home. So guess what? We're building this next. As long as we provide 13 more settlers with a home, we just get paid a lot of wood and a lot of scrap. That sounds like the winning formula to me. And hopefully we can use some of these resources to make better meals. 200. Look at this. Can we do that now? 300? Can we cook can we cook them please? 400? Oh, I need to put power. I need to get this building powered. What how much does it take? Uh 200. Electricity, wind turbine. We're going to pop a wind turbine right here. Your own dedicated wind turbine right here, Kitch. Cooking cooking what? Kitch? Kitch. Like like it's a it's a it's a kitchen, all right? It's called Kitch. Your new name is Kitch. Right here next to you. On this side, though. Yeah, on this side. As soon as we make that shelter. There it goes. And... We get great success. Alright, I want this to be built now. Build that next. Oh, man. Oh, man. Does... Pause. Does this actually put our food up by 500? Okay, it went up by 100. It went up by 100. I, I don't know if it did or not. I can't tell. It, it did something. Maybe they're carrying it where it needs to go. It's also very close to the market. Very good for us as well. I hope the kitchens help our food supply. Like, I hope so much. Please, please, please help our food supply. <laughs> Anything else I can do here? Aside from limiting... I think limiting the birth. I think we need to go birth control again. We have just too many people. I gotta do it. And then I think um, temporarily we're gonna pop food rationing as well. Yeah. We're gonna pop some food rationing as well. So they're not gonna eat as much either. So now we're gonna be able to ramp up on food. And we're, we're gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna help our population problem and ramp up on food at the same time. Now, are my citizens happy about this? No. They're obviously uh, not happy about this. I also have looming crimes. So, you know, we're gonna wanna make them happier as well. You can see how happy they are in their current living arrangements. It's not bad, but it could be made better, I suppose. So maybe we can... Uh, 
don't know. Will some hedges make you feel better about your life? If I give you guys some hedges, will you, you know, will you, will you leave me alone? I gave you another scrap dragon. You can't just be happy with the scrap dragon. Hmm? How about that, huh? And then torches. Everyone likes torches. Put torches on the ends. Yes. Absolutely. More torches. Torches for everyone. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be enough. Enough to offset the... Uh, it's not going to be enough to offset this issue of, uh, you know, not being able to eat as much food as they want. Your settlement's confidence is low. Confidence in our settlement is declining. Maybe we ought to offer our settlers an opportunity to relax. What does that mean? Uh, a pub! Oh my gosh, yes! We have joints now, man! Oh, if there's one thing we can do, it's offer alcohol and drugs. That's always the solution to a depressed society. Let's do it. Oh, right over by the market. We'll put one right there. Absolutely. The pub. We want another one. Yes, we do. Right over here where people live. The pub. Right across the street from the kitchen. Absolutely. Uh, one thing I do want to see, though, is our cemetery full? It absolutely is. So we're going to want to have another cemetery. Because chances are, look at all the dead bodies. That's why. You see all those dead bodies? Oh my god, that's a lot of dead people. All right, hang on a second. Uh, I want to put the cemetery right here. Uh, no, we're going to put it right... Uh, I kind of don't want it over here, but I'm going to put it right here. Right here. Nope, that's scrap in the way. But I want it lined up here. Oh, we're going to put it right here then. Nope, still scrap in the way. Dang! I don't want it here. This is too good of a spot for other things. I can always put it next to the other cemetery. It gets in the way of other things. Well, I gotta put him somewhere. It's gonna be here. It's gonna be right here. And I think we build this next because if I can get if I can get the dead bodies taken care of, that will help people a lot. Because like right now. Seeing the dead laying everywhere is a big source of their depression. It's not just my decrees. It's that too. And every time people die of old age and all that stuff, they, it just gets worse and worse. So the cemetery is a very quick thing to build. It shouldn't take very long. So I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that's the thing that gets solved. And like once again, we're off of protection. We just don't have any radiation protection right now. Food supply is going up, though. The food rationing is solving that issue. I maybe didn't need to do the birth control thing. Maybe didn't need it, but it is certainly going to help. Oh, we don't have any people fishing. Um, pull people off of farming really quick and put them in fishing. We want builders. We don't need that many builders. Put, go more fishing. And then, yeah, just... Yep, there we go. And then we'll want at least one more mortician. Let's put three people on logistics. Two people on scouting. And... We can put one person on scouting, actually. We're starting to drop just a little bit in our coal supply, but, like... Not enough to really need anyone else going to mining. Refineries are doing decently. I can probably pull a couple of people off of that. Put one more on scrap collection. And then what's going on with this cemetery, guys? Oh my god, the people building the cemetery died. Oh my god, even the people building this... Uh, well, they're at least... Uh, at least they died close to where they'll be buried. I guess. But I need more people over here. Let's go. Let's go. Build it, please. All those dead people. Oh. Yeah, there's the drought. That's a problem. Are we still irrigating? I hope we are. Yeah, we are. Still irrigating all the way to high. Good. 
All right, all we need is 30 wood. Anybody want to bring 30 wood? Hello? What's this? Okay, expedition. Let's do it. Amber says, we're here, chief. Well, uh, that scout pretty much summed it up already. Not much left here. The station is in pretty bad shape. The structures look like they're made of rust instead of metal, but we'll look around anyway. All right, so where do we want to look? Well, we can look at the gas station. That's the only location. So let's go ahead and do it. Well, the gas pumps are either gone or busted, uh, but there's a garage we could check out. The convenience shop too, our best bets, I guess. Okay. So again, we brought enough rations for, we have four, basically we have four action points. So we can, there's two locations. Hopefully there's only one thing to do at each location. We'll see. Let's check out the garage. Most likely we'll find some old tools inside, I hope, uh, along with some sheets of metal. Good. Judging by the size of the garage, they also did some repairs here back then. It's a good thing we brought along our crowbar. All right, expedition successfully completed. We get one metal tool and nine metal. That's not great, but all right. Looks like an old military truck. They must have been in a big, in a real hurry. Everything's scattered around. The truck's pretty much stripped of a bunch of tools are lying around, a, a welcome discovery. Okay, go back to the shop then. We'll check out that shop, but uh, to be honest, most of the stuff is probably way past any expiration date or has simply become unusable after all these years. It's a good thing we brought along a scrap collector to sort out the stuff that's still usable. All right, found some hard liquor, five cloth, and um, so the explorers received a negative effect on their confidence. Uh-oh. We found a skeleton amidst the pile of old whiskey and beer bottles with empty food cans all around next to some sooty walls. That poor sod must have spent his last days here drinking and waiting for the inevitable. Guess only a lucky few made it to the end zone. It's horrifying to search with this skeleton watching. We'll take some stuff and leave. All right, so there's not a whole lot of loot here, apparently. Unfortunate. Um, we're going to get cloth. Five things of hard liquor, uh, one metal, and some, uh, it's really a terrible expedition, unfortunately. But that's what you get. Sometimes you go out and look at something and it's not worth your time, and other times you hit the jackpot. I just wanted to know which was which. It would be pretty cool, I think, to maybe go here, but um, I'm not sure we have those resources. I'd rather her not shoot us, but I would rather her... Well, I guess I have rifles. I mean, I'm I'm hunting, so I might have rifles. Dude, look at our food now, though. Look at our food. Oh, it's so good. You know what isn't good, though? Like, people not bringing the construction materials to the cemetery. Like, they're just not getting over here. I don't understand. Look at this kitchen is almost done, actually. Build this first. I know it sounds bad, but, like, we're two cloth away from, like, putting this up. And I want, like, we have a lot of food now. Like, food rationing has helped so much. It's so good. That combined with population control is definitely saving us. We may even cap out our food, which I'm okay with. There we go. Let's get a mortician. Uh, let's get yeah, let's get a mortician and then the field of work is all oh, if you want to know how many dead bodies there are All of the orange parts that are lighting up. Those are all people laying there dead That's a lot of people. That's a lot of dead bodies to deal with <laughs> so uh, Needless to say, I think we're gonna fill the cemetery up and we should probably build another one Because you know, that's a lot so I'm gonna get another one, I think, right here. This is great land, though. I really don't wanna use this for cemeteries. How about we do it over here? Oh, this is better. But there's still water here, so it's still prime. But you know what? Mmm. We'll get another cemetery back here by the weather station. Because this land is really valuable. It's like right on the water. I'm curious if, if there's any way we get a fishing hut here that's 100%. Is there any way to get a fishing hut at 100% to fish this? 
like just enough to where it's gonna tell me no. 80. Ah, nah, I don't, we're not getting it on that, but we could at this point come back here, right? We can get it on this one and another one over here. We can fish and bolt. We can have two fishing docks on this side at 100%, you know? All right, the next thing we're gonna get, now that we got kitchens operational, which is fantastic, by the way, we're gonna get 10 people working in the kitchens. We need to get them all hooked up to power. And to do all of that the best way, we're gonna get, we needed it. It's been, it's been pending for a while. We're gonna get solar collectors. Start it now. Get the solar collectors. We're gonna put one right here. It's a big ass group of solar panels right there. And we're gonna put another one right. I was thinking right here actually, and then we can have it kind of come in. Uh, or the other solution was to put it right in here and then have our batteries kind of be over here and then connect it to the grid. But I don't have like, that's a long way to travel to like fix them and stuff. So, cause they're gonna have to fix them, you know? All right, pub is going down. That's gonna make people happier. And we just need two people working there. Uh, we can either choose to make hard liquor, joints, or beer. So beer takes wheat, which we do have, and water. Very good. Uh, joints just take marijuana, uh, which we are not growing yet, but we could. Uh, and then we have hard liquor, which takes like, like berries and stuff, like we ferment the stuff. So I think this one is going to work on joints. And to facilitate the supply for said joints, we're going to have a small little cultivated field right here next to this right here next to oh i can't have a little one i want like a little one you know what maybe we'll do it over here mm, maybe we'll do it right here oh it's on the road i'm not allowed to do it on the road you can do it back here have it brought over or i could do it like right here yeah have a little marijuana place like right here this little field will help us Make all the joints we want. <laughs> right here. Just get this field. Get the trees cut down. One more. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Here you go. There you go. All right. We're going to take this field. And we're going to grow hemp. Hemp can be harvested in the fields. Unlike other crops, hemp is not a source of food. Hemp is converted into joints in a pub. They can be consumed by settlers to boost their confidence. Indeed, they can. And that is what we're going to do. Yes, we are. We're going to have a couple more people working the fields. Yes, we are. Look at the food we have now, guys. Look at it. It's amazing. 16,000 food. We have nearly 200 colonists, or settlers, whatever you want to call it. We're way capped out on wood now. We got way more than our population. Well, actually, no, I raised it to 1,200, but that one quest gave us 800 wood, so uh, we're making food, processing it. We're 25,000 is our limit on food, which is insane. So we can, if we want to now, go a little lighter. Actually, I want the farmers to stay where they're doing. We can go a little lighter on like the hunting, um, you know, gathering. We can go a little bit lighter on that, and that leaves us a ton of settlers is perfect because i mean we can do things like moving things with logistics we can make sure our medicine is in good shape i'm going to definitely want to do that um where is my herbalist hut right here herbal hut bring this up to four yep and um i just want to make sure the medicine is good because i'm noticing that's a little low and then also that symbol for drugs i wonder how we make that is that a research thing I feel like it's got to be a research thing. Uh, solar collector. So this needs 60 electronics, which we have a ton of already. And now where they've been drained. Oh, no. Well, they've been delivered here, hopefully. Did they get delivered to the research center? Yeah, 60 in stock. Perfect. So we're almost ready on that. Ooh, our energy surplus is down. Why? 
Um, you're not connected. You're connected to two different places. I don't want this powered. I don't need this powered. I want only that powered. Well, maybe I can get away with it. You know, I, it looks like I can get away with it. But why are you at a deficit? What is this connected to? Uh, my you. What are you? Con oh, you're connected to this. Yeah. Well, I kind of like you connected to that, but I'm gonna shut you off for now. So tell me you're powered. Now you're powered. Good. All right. So this cemetery is no longer full, thankfully. So the morticians will get on that. We've got uh, this one here, which is currently working to get everybody in the graves. And then on this side, this one's going to get built as soon as we bring the scrap. We've got tons of scrap now. And now I think, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Refiners. And you know what? With all that scrap we're bringing in, I don't think I can justify not having just another, another one. Like, I think more refining is necessary. Where is it? Why can I never find the things I'm looking for? Refinery. Um... Scraps coming on this side. It's also coming in over here, though. We could put it right here, I suppose. And the resources get delivered into town from here. Not opposed to it. There's a warehouse right there. Now, we're not decontaminating the inventory. And I think we probably should look at getting more decontamination posts. Like another one of these. Because a lot of these buildings are producing and they're not being decontaminated just because this has such a limited area of effect so along that note i think we get another decontamination post do you fit here please tell me you fit i need a, i need a reason for this spot to exist right now no it doesn't no it doesn't work i can move this i can move the tomatoes but I think it's probably better just to put it on this side of the road. Yeah. We're going to put another decontamination post here. Have this cover this little area. And then I think we'll put one more. Uh, right over into here. Yeah, we'll nestle it right into here. Or we won't. Oh, it's because of the path. There we go. And then the path needs to go. A little zigzaggy road. Never hurt nobody. All right, there we go. Now the next thing, the last thing is the trading post. As far as like new buildings that I haven't done yet. The trading post seems pretty interesting. And I kind of want to put it, um, maybe I'll put it out this way. And then, you know what? I could probably get this going, too. Because look at our water. That's starting to suffer. I say we get this going. Yeah. We can we can start building this, too. We can get some more builders in place. And uh, let's go ahead and get this constructed. This will be the priority on, on this end. Um, we're also going to get the well. Both wells, I guess, can go. But this will be first, hopefully, because I activated it first. Uh, and then the jetty, please. And then the rainwater collectors. And now we've got the solar collectors. Heck yes. Finally. Look at how big this thing is. It is huge. And we are going to put this right over here. It's our first one. It's going to go right here. This is going to power... A whole lot of buildings. It costs a lot to build, too. 20 more electronics, but we have enough for that. Next research should be batteries. So we can store it. Uh, but it doesn't look like we can do that. Because we don't have the... It's not showing me the mouse over for the battery. There it is. Two knowledge. Okay. 36 electronics as well. Okay, let's go to the refinery here. We'll turn electronics back on as part of the sort. And uh, we'll let the thing just get on with it. Hopefully, it'll make some more electronics for us. These little buildings here, they're just super, super inefficient. I kind of want to just get rid of them. 
But they're keeping up cloth for this right here, basically. We'll have you make metal tools now. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then we can go on another expedition if we want to, but, oh look, oh look at this. Now we have 10. Now we have 10. Unscheduled types of research. This mission includes special rewards such as new seeds, knowledge, or technologies, but it won't let me click them. Why can't I click them? Does it need repaired? Does you need to be fully repaired before you can do it? Complete the mission from the bulletin board you've already taken on before you can do this. Oh. Oh, okay. I just have to produce hard liquor. Oh, I haven't produced the hard liquor. Uh, this is easy. We're just going to do this. We'll put this on hard liquor and um, we should just make this. Where's the other pub? Right here. Yeah, hard liquor. There we go. So we'll have both of them going on hard liquor right now. And as soon as we capture this, as soon as we get this one, which we're more than halfway done with, um, we'll get 80 beer, 60 hard liquor, and 20% on our uh, people who love us again. And then we can take that other one. So, like, I really need to get this fast so that I can uh, do that other one. Because there's, like, this undiscovered... Ooh, new medicine. Wait. Consequences of mission uncertain. Uh, okay, maybe new medicine. I don't know. There's a lot to do, guys, but the video's long, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you haven't already. Check out this. I have got lots of cool stuff on this. Let's, let's just all agree on something. I've got lots of cool stuff going on on this channel right now. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you. Bye.